It's customary on these occasions for the father of the bride to say a few words. And I'd like to begin by welcoming you all to Dodford Manor. I know that Frankie and Brendan have worked very hard planning and organising their special day. You're the one I'd lose it all in die for And as the sun transforms into the moon I pray we never lose the fire of our youth And no, I'll never stop chasing your heart, my love is yours to It's been more than 35 years since my gorgeous wife Chrissy and I got married and we're immensely proud of both of our children Frankie and Tom. We're proud of everything they've achieved so far in their lives of course but most of all we're proud of the kind-hearted, caring, considerate and independent individuals that they've both become. <laughs> Good afternoon everybody and welcome to this beautiful setting of Dodford Manor which has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages and we are here today to witness and to celebrate the marriage of Brendan and Frankie and on their behalf may I thank you for joining with them in this the celebration of their very special day and we hope today is going to be a happy and memorable day for everybody, but especially for Brendan and Frankie. When it feels like we've lost our way We may bend the dark and we will never break No, I'll never stop chasing your heart My love is your friendship to support and comfort you through good times and through troubled times. I promise to care for you with love and with patience, to respect and cherish you and to be faithful to you always. These promises I make to you sincerely for the rest of my life. These promises I make to you sincerely for the rest of my life. Brendan Philip May and Francesca Marie Barrington. You have now made your declarations of marriage as prescribed by law, and through them have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses and your family and friends that are assembled here today. So it now gives me the greatest of pleasure to pronounce you are indeed lawfully joined together as husband and wife. And would you like to kiss your bride? Since they first got together a few years ago, it's been easy to see how much Brendan loves and cares for Frankie. But now that you're officially our son-in-law, Brendan, it gives me great pleasure to say that we're delighted to welcome you into our family. We're very proud of you and we're absolutely sure that Frankie couldn't have picked a better partner. And finally, please join me in a toast to congratulate the new Mr and Mrs May and to wish them a lifetime filled with love, laughter and happiness. So please raise your glasses 
to Frankie and Brendan. Chris and Nick, um, I've always felt welcome and at home whenever we're together. Our families, as Nick, you mentioned, we've been part of each other's lives for the last 20 years or so. And, uh, and I couldn't be happy to see the two families come together today. I haven't got round to probably the most important person in the room, Frankie. Um, I'll say a couple of words about you. Um, I think it's fair to say that without your drive and your military style organisation, today would not have happened the way that it has. So um, amazing. But yeah, again, bringing it back um, in all seriousness, I think uh, to think that we've known each other since we were kids and only actually got together a few years ago blows my mind. I don't know whether many people know this, but I've always had a bit of a soft spot for Frankie. But, uh, but the two of us had never had the chance to actually go on a date until relatively recently. Um, everything changed in the summer of 2018 when my parents and I were invited around. And I, uh, I walked into the kitchen and <laughs> I was met by the most beautiful girl I'd ever seen. And, uh, and completely off guard, the first thing that came out of my mouth was, oh, hi, Frankie, you've changed. And, uh, and the rest is history. Um, we're the perfect team, and I am so proud to have you by my side to spend the rest of our lives together. So can we please raise a glass to my beautiful, beautiful bride? It's Frankie. I actually remember the first time I met Frankie was when um, I was invited over for a barbecue and it was really good to see you guys happy and going back to this party where you said, oh you've changed, Frankie was talking about it slightly differently. She said you laid it on pretty thick. <laughs> Where there is love, there is life. And as you can tell if you've seen the photos between them, there is a lot of love and a lot of life between the two. And I know you're going to have an incredible journey together. And a happy life. So I'd like you to all be upstanding, please. Charge your glasses. I'd like to make a toast to Frankie and Brendan. Cheers. So, the fucking weapon, everybody, set up some more.